Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of the Woolen Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Tracy. This is our place on the internet where we talk about all the woolly things, knitting, spinning, crochet, crochet, sometimes cross stitch. Yep, yep, and other things. If you can hear some nice ASMR crunching sounds in the background, that's the puppies just behind the screen being <laughs> entertained with their chew toys. So it was that or them howling yeah. in the hallway. So we thought that would be all right. Yeah. So how have you been? Okay, yeah, not too bad. Went to Unravel at the weekend. Yes, wasn't the same without you. No, I wasn't very well. So the lots of things got in the way as well before that. And then I wasn't very well, so I didn't no. go at the weekend, but you no. did. So you yeah. have some things to show yeah. at the end. We've yeah. also got a... Um, Giveaway. Yep. To announce. Yeah. So we've selected a winner. Did yep. you do that on the yep. random? Yeah. that. So yes. we'll announce that in a little while. I think after some whips. Yeah. Whips? FOs. FOs, FOs yeah. first. Or what you're wearing. What you're wearing, do you want to start? <laughs> oh, what? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not knitted. No, this is just something I whipped up last night. <laughs> On my Cricut machine. Yeah, which is behind but you yeah. there. I don't know if you can see it in the thing. Yeah, I was making some baby um, grows yeah. for the grandson. And I thought, oh, actually, I've got a plain black jumper upstairs. So, yeah, just just love That's fun. knitting. I thought you got it from Unravel when yeah, I saw it. Yeah, no. That's no, great, isn't I it, that you can do all those sorts of things yeah, with that. Yeah, I love it, it. Well, I was doing the dog's room. Yeah. And that's what got, got me Cricut out again. And then I was like, oh. I remember how much I love using that now. Have so, yeah. to um, show at the end the mate's oh, face yeah. under the stairs. Yeah, for the dogs. So show that at the end as yes. more puppy footage. Shall I say what I'm yeah. wearing then? So I always struggle to say this. The Sol Dotna crop. We've all seen this, but this was one of the first um, garments I made and colour work. That's lovely. So this was in. Patterns DK, and I think I use an extra colour, and that was the um, orangey yellow. But I wanted to show my, um, I've shown this before on the podcast, but this was the other one I made. So I took the chart of the of this, and I just rubbed out bits, added, yeah. So this you can see the sort of um, so nice. squares at the top. So I just brought lines down and did that but i thought i'd bring this to share it's so good that you can do that though isn't it yeah just just taking the chart rubbing out little bits still keeping within the rules of well it's not rules it, it can go across more than five stitches but then you've yeah. got long floats but i think i'm going to make another you're one over a bit am i right i'm not sure i think he's hot you've got half a face i'm not sure though oh it's because of the record buttons in the way but yeah. but yeah this one's bigger. I think I did this in medium and this one's a small. Yeah. But these are more my colours. I'd like to make another one of those because obviously my one was far too small. Yeah. Oh, that's um, Caitlin Hunter. Yeah. As well. But this one was in Drops Charisma as well. So quite affordable. I think I done mine in Drops Charisma. Yeah. But I don't really wear nice. this one much because of the pinks. I, I did it deliberately because I was trying to go outside of my uh, comfort zone with the colours. And... Um. Uh, <laughs> I've oh, got what? to let a dog out. Oh, they've got to go out now. Yeah. Okay, I'll pause it. So. <laughs> Nightmare doing this with puppies. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't happy with um, sitting in here. No. No. So we'll see how this goes. There might be some more breaks yeah. within it, but hopefully you can bear with us. <laughs> so. This. I'm going to make another one, I think, and change it. I might even do it sort of more sort of stripes, like just change this section or something else, but a lot of fun. And yeah. that's, I can see why it's so popular. Yeah. Again, everybody's sort of made one of these. Um, quick, easy, DK. So nice. a lot of fun. But yeah, I don't wear this one very often, so I thought I'd show it. I love that cool? one. I love the colours of that yeah. one. I love the colours as well. It's my favourite, the sort of yellowy yeah. greens. Right, um, oh, you still got your hat. Oh, hat, Fan Street hat. I've talked about this before by Georgia Farrell from the My London book, and that's in Alpaca Soft DK. Only used one 50 gram ball for it, so that's brilliant. Yeah, 
I had a tiny bit left, but they said you only needed one book. What was that in? The My London book. But I think you can buy the pattern separately on uh, mm. Ravelry as well. Brilliant. Georgia, Farrell, but everything will be in the description. Yeah. Right. What are we doing? I can't even. <laughs> You're <honestly. laughs> wearing some logo face now. Yeah. Um, FOs. FOs. Right. I'll start with this one now. I was all organised. Now you've got all flustered. Yeah. So, I don't know whether anyone remembers, but we yeah. had the, what was it? The Oh, I've got it here. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> oh, dear. Alternate. Alternate book. By Andrea Wrangle. Yeah. Stitch Dictionary. Do, do, do. So, I finally finished it. My... So fun. Leaf cow. <laughs> yeah, so you took a chart from this book. Yeah, two charts. I... I uh, what was it? The studs, which is that one, and then the leaf, Love and then colour. just put it into a cow. Do you remember any, how many stitches you cast yeah. on and what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says it, it says on your notes. Yeah, I have. One hundred and fifty-four. That was for the ribbon. Right. <laughs> I've lost it now. Right, sorry. <laughs> professional. Yeah, professional, very professional here. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I cast on 154 stitches, but for the pattern, it would need 155. So I just added, increased one stitch yeah. when I started the, after the ribbon. So yeah, but I love that. I really... Perfect. It's going to be perfect for autumn. It's mad that you finished that because I was thinking of doing another one as well. Because just colour work. Yeah. Round and round. Yeah. But when I when I finished it, I was straight away looking in the book thinking, right, what am I going to do next? Because I do. I love making cows. What's this yarn as well? It was Sockshare DK. Nice. So nice and cheap. Yeah. I think I, I think it used two of the purple. Yeah. It's not called purple, but I will put it down below. Cause was, I can't... It, was it a number or? No, I can't. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Dionysus. Is there you that... go. I don't know. I'll put it down in the show notes below. But it's like heathered as well if you hold it yeah. closer up. The... There you go. So nice, isn't it? I love that. I love that colour. I wanted to get some um, more of the sock share from Unravel. Yeah, when you were there. It was just so packed. So busy. It was so busy. So I uh, I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll order it online probably. We'll get some next show. Oh yeah, next show I could do. But yeah, so that is, that's so easy to do. Yeah, so basically it's a, you, 154, what needle size did you say? Um, 375? I think it was a three, yeah, 375. 375. 3.75. But yeah, so you can just take any pattern yeah. from the book. I definitely recommend this book. Yes. I know we've said it before, yeah. but it's just, you know, it's just amazing. All the... Up the charts. Yeah, you covered up the charts. Yeah. All sorts of different All patterns. All different patterns. It's just amazing. <laughs> and then you can put it in anything. Yeah. Anything. Hats. Hats. Yeah. And I've, I think it's got it in here, isn't it? Socks. It's actually got that you, like, it oh, tells this... you how to do... Yeah, there's some patterns Different. at the back and how to insert the charts into the patterns. I think there's a cow. Yeah. Perfect. So it's so nice. Yeah. Finally finished. I felt like that was so... <laughs> what, ram rambling? rambling? No, no, it's fine. It's all fine. Yeah. But yeah I'm People are used that. to us anyway now. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. Okay. <laughs> it's almost been a year since yeah. we started the podcast. What did you say? It was the 13th? Yeah. What's it today? First. The first. The first of March, yeah, thirteenth of From March 13th. was our first, our first podcast. Wasn't yeah. It? So it's been amazing, it's nice. and thank you everybody yeah, for supporting us through definitely. this. Being here Can't with us, it's been a year. It's gone quick, yeah. but I suppose where we only post a video, a couple of podcasts, maybe once a month, three weeks. Yeah. Um. Thirteen episodes yeah. we've had up, plus the yarn plus shows. Plus the yarn shows, yeah. So, I finally finished the, I'm calling this my tomato headband, and this was from a pattern I came up with. 
myself and it was supposed to be a hat which I said last time and it went wrong so I turned it into a headband it's Jameson's and Smith on the outside and then on the inside I used uh, Drops Kid Silk nice. uh, mohair and just stitched it down when I got to here I picked up the ribbing and knit two together right and then I did the surprisingly stretchy bind off for that but I'll put it on so you can see it looks so warm and cozy it is really um warm excuse my hair so I probably wear it with messy bun but I love that and because of the um mohair silk it's really soft on the forehead so nice so yeah that's fine that's obviously we really wouldn't good. wear it together with this a bit too much color work Oh, that's good. <laughs> do a skirt as well. Yeah. Just go out. Yeah. Um, have you seen? There's a lot of tan patterns to like the berets, but with the colour work, the Scottish sort of. Yeah. And I've been seeing a lot of those and tempted to do those, but I've got so many whips at the moment that I'm just thinking I've got to finish some things. Yeah. Well, that's why I finished that because I was I've got my book out. I've got so I always write my patterns down when I'm making something. Yes. Um, but I've got them in one books here and one books over there. So the other day I got a, a new book yes. and wrote down every single whip that I've, that I've got. And then I thought, right, now it's all in one place. And you can I can see. see what whips I've got and then I can just tick them off as I go and try not to cast on too that's, much more. And that's the tricky bit is trying not to cast yeah. on. So I just keep wanting to cast on new things yeah. and then I just do a couple of rows and it's not enough to show. People like got a lot. I haven't got any whips to show today. Yeah. Because I've just got so many and I haven't done much on any of them. That's so. it, because it doesn't, does it? If you've got loads, you do a few bits on that and a few bits, and then it's just. And I'm thinking I want to do colour work socks. I want to do this yeah. hat. I'm looking at the other things, thinking a new um, sweater. So it just yeah. yeah keeps going on. But yeah, so that's another finished object. Yes. That's good. All right. What have I got now? I'll show you this one. So, I finally finished. So, another whip that's now finished. Perfect. My oh, look at the colours. Sophie shawl. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's so nice, isn't it? I love these colours. Mm. Another one that's going to be a nice autumn. That's perfect. Wear. Oh, yeah, so all big. The leaves. But yeah, so that was knit out of um, the jewel spun. So it's a, I think it's Serdar. Let me just check. Yeah, Serdar. So it's an Aran weight. And I'd done it the, so she's got a small, medium, and large. And I'd done the medium. Yeah. Because I was worried I'd run out. And now I'm not sure that's how much I had left out of one nice. ball. Yeah. So I, don't, I probably could have made the large, I don't know. It's big enough though. Yeah, that I wouldn't have wanted it any bigger. So single, yeah. um, and a single ply as well. Yeah. So it really makes the stitches yeah. pop. So nice. I'm so happy with this one. That was a relaxing yeah. knit as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the last time I showed it, I hadn't even got to the decreases. No. So yeah, I picked it up and I was like, right. Did you finished. see Mandy from Mouse's Makes has finished a sweater in jewel spun? Oh, was it? Yeah, in jewel yeah. It is such, it is, I think it's, is it just acrylic? I'm not sure. I didn't write it down and I've lost the label. I'm not sure, but they've got so many colours and it just. That's gorgeous. Yeah. This one is set in sun. Yeah, set in sun, this colour, this colourway. And nice and snugly warm and it's still cold enough to need it oh yeah yeah i can wear it now yeah. i didn't block it but i don't think, I don't really think needs it needs it. blocking the colors i just love it absolutely love it lovely i think everyone must have knit a well the sophie scarf in it yeah so this is the the, the shawl, shawl version you made one for your mum didn't you Yes, yes, I showed that on Instagram. I did yeah. a little Instagram reel. I haven't shown it on here, but yeah. I made um, my mum one for Christmas. 
Yeah. So she's been wearing that constantly. Actually. I would make another one. I definitely would make another one yeah. of these as well. Might be fun doing it um, half striped and half a plain colour. Like yeah. Blocked. Well, you could do anything, couldn't you? Mm. You could do anything. So, yeah, another finished object. Lovely. Right, what have I got now? Okay. So, obviously, I love hats. Uh, I think <laughs> probably every episode I've had a hat to I'm show. Like that. So this is the Molly hat, which is a free pattern by Erin Ruth. And I knit this out of yarn that I dyed. That I purchased the kilogram from Green Hill Woolen Crafts. And then I dyed the yarn myself. Oh, brilliant. Although it did come with spinning oil in it. If you smell that. I know it's weird. <laughs> sniff, sniff the hat. I love that smell. Oh, it's, it's more sheepy then. But I've washed it a few times. Obviously, I washed it before I dyed it, and, and then I've washed it again. And I can still smell some of the spinning oil in it. But nice fat cable there. That's It's not a mistake there, it's that. I need to tuck that cable twisted that way. Let me see. Hang on. There we go. Pop that. I haven't blocked this. It was sold as a DK, but it actually came... It was 160 metres a uh, hundred grams so more of a worsted i think this is a worsted um pattern but i'll just put it on show you it's quite bright slouch you know nice. a bit slouchy there that color suits you like that i don't know i think it makes me look really um pink in the face i don't need yeah. any encouragement to have more um i think it suits you redness in my face oh, but that's nice that is i love yellow and i thought why not yeah do it anyway yeah. really um <clears throat> quick knit nice texture for the, yeah you know like for just that. the one cable and lovely because it's a free pattern as well so was it easy yeah really easy yeah it was That's really good. easy and it was it was easy to remember i think it was every eight rows you do the twisted um the twists for the cable right. or the back and front or whatever they're called yeah but i love the texture and you could easily see when it was time to do that as well it was a it's just a broken rib so I think every third row, knit one, pearl one oh, to right. get that texture. But in the yellow, so really then. pops as well. But love yeah, that. another hat for my collection. I'm not going to stop. They're my you do find thing. some good hats. I love the hats. Yeah. I've made one of these before as well for my mother-in-law. I made her a hand-spun one. So, yeah. Lovely. You can never have enough hats. No. Right. Um, we might be going a little bit quicker getting through the things. I think we've got a lot to talk about. And last time it was an hour and 40 minutes. So sorry about that. Yeah. And it was a nightmare to edit. Try and, well, not oh, ed upload. edit. It was just uploading it. It's quite a long one. And it one. kept saying that there was no storage. And I was just like, oh. That's the curse. I think I was you. still doing it at midnight. I was like, oh. I'll leave you to do the editing. Yeah. Well, I have cleared my laptop. So I'm hoping this time, and as you can see, I'm, you know, we're missing up and I'm just like, I'm on. I'm not One stopping. Take. I'm stopping. <laughs> <laughs> so, another so fun. finished, they look really like weird on there. I oh, think it's the because of the sock blocker. I maybe where they're a shorty pair yeah. as well. But this was just like a made up um, shorty. I think it was a 10, 10 rib, row rib, then 12 of stuck on it and then yeah. the heel one. Matching as well. Yeah. My mum's had her eyes on these. <laughs> she kept coming around. And she was, I always put them up there yeah. when I finished. Oh, were they for me? <laughs> so they probably will go to her. They're your favourite thing, aren't they, really, to make socks? Yeah. Yeah. And I haven't, but I haven't got many pairs because I always give them away. Yeah. I always give my socks away. But That's nice, though. I do like making socks. So, yeah, the, this was out of... Um, Head Over Hills All Star um, in the colour 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 colourway <laughs> in the colour in the colourway Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not a professional podcast. No, no not at all. Time. So yeah, another. So I think I've only got. I still keep saying about this one. Do you, when you finish making them, though, not want to wear them because then they won't be new anymore? Yeah. Because you hang them up, don't you? Yeah. And then you're like, I like looking at them. Yeah. But those two, 
So I've I have I haven't started that one. Ah. That's I've had second sucked syndrome with this one. Right. I don't think people can even see what oh yes they yeah, can. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Dogs see this, they're saying how terrible you are for closing the door and leaving them in the hallway. With all their sticks and toys. Toys and yak bars. And still <laughs> I think it was one of them barking at the other one. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too disturbing for people to... No, hopefully not. Oh, look, I've got the... Um... So that's what, how much I've had left, and that's the yarn. Awesome. So it's a Starcraft. I don't think it feels too bad either. I Super like... Wool. I Nylon. like socks in a commercial. Yeah. Um, I... I feel bad sometimes using really nice sock yarn for yeah. socks. Yeah. Because in case they wear free quite yeah. easily. Sorry, dog. <laughs> Morse code. Yeah. Help. SOS. <laughs> Send more treats. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Because yeah. they're more hard wearing. I've got like, I've got so much commercial. Yeah. But yeah, I do. I I like I like giving my mum the Commercial ones, because I know she'll throw them in the washing machine. Yeah, yeah, and they're fine. Yeah, in the washing machine. All right. Okay, yeah. so I showed this, I think, on not last episode, the one before, but on the comfort knitting. So this is I haven't woven in the ends or blocked it yet, but this is a hand spun shawl, just triangle shawl. So I used the shaping. I haven't put that in the notes either. Right. Um, of the last light. Shawl, so the edging details, the tab cast on. Um, you know, a tri with a triangle shawl, you increase here and here and at the edges every other row, and that's how you get the shaping. But what I did is one section of garter, then two by two rib, then stockinette, and I just repeated that every time the colour changed. That is so, so nice. this was hand spun that I think I made back in 2019 or maybe the beginning of 2020 i may have carded it and it'd been sat in my stash and i was like i've got to, so i've nice. got to knit that up but i did a i cord um bind up on the end that is so nice i also held the hand spun double with um drops kid silk mohair is it kid silk mohair? yeah it just white to tone down the colours a bit, but I'll hold it closer so you can see the... So I blended some red and then the red with the orange, the orange, orange with the yellow, yellow and so on. So clever! For that, and actually it, it has It's amazing. Well. I wasn't sure when I got to this, because this doesn't really look red-orange, it kind of wasn't blended as well, but I really love the uh, orangey-yellow. That's so nice. So really big and snuggly and warm again that's just taking another pattern yeah and, and just, making your own yeah just inserting the things into it i just wanted to not have to keep looking at a pattern yeah i think that was the thing yeah and having to concentrate on where i was i could just sit there sit sit back watch stuff on netflix and work away on it but i love that i haven't woven in the ends like i said but i will do and block it although again i don't think it really needs blocking it will look better if it's I so do. It's so nice. I love, all, I love the rib and I love the garter. and. Yeah, obviously the sections got smaller textures. each time because yeah. they're going all the way along. Yeah. More stitches, but... No, that is amazing. Love that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Fun. So fun. I might just Beautiful. hang it up on the wall as well. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. Not um, wearing it. Yeah. Um... Oh, I've got a half finished object. Again, as you can see, this one is oh, for nice. my son Zach. Finally, he keeps he's been asking for a pair of oh, socks. Are they? So, well, a pair. <laughs> you got one. Half. Um, for so long. So uh and then the other day I said, Can you try it on? And it's a little bit tight, but I'm gonna block it out and see. Yeah. I mean, I don't know whether it will. It might. Yeah, it will stretch out a bit. Um, 
And then he was like, oh, shall I just wear them at home? <laughs> and I was like, you can wear them whenever. I was, I was like, why? He said, is it a bit embarrassing? Like, oh. And I was like, well, no, if you want to wear hand-knit hand -knit socks, socks, you can wear hand-knit yeah. socks. You don't have to be embarrassed about it. Bless him. But I said, but if you want to wear them just as at home slipper yeah. socks, it's fine. Do what you want. Oh, I love the colours. But the it's so nice. It sort of blends there yeah. as well. Yeah, but I knew when I bought this, so this is the zigzag um, yarn, which is King Cole, another commercial yarn. But it feels a bit, I wasn't sure how he would be. It's a little bit Oh, rough. I like it again, it hard wearing though. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Oh, I like thought it would, he um, would definitely irritate. need, yeah. yeah, he, he um, struggles with Text textures yeah, yeah and, sensitivity but he was fine as soon as he put it on he was fine i think the feet are less sensitive like obviously if you have this on your forehead it might yeah but on yeah. your feet they don't yeah, really yeah it's different isn't it let's see how he gets on so yeah just a vanilla sock have i stopped <laughs> so sorry <laughs> this won't happen all the time you might not even be able to hear <laughs> You might not. They were like, yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> you'd think there's two older ones in the house. You'd think they would uh, watch your doggies. Watch your doggies, but no. So yeah, half finished. I'm gonna start that. Fun. Get that done. And then he'll be asking for more and more pairs. Yeah, which I don't mind. Yeah, I like. So yeah, that's that one done. Right, my last um of the. FOs was the I finished the hand spun from the Rolex that I showed last week. So this was the last of the neon braids from Siobhan's Crafts that I used the blending board and made Rolex with black corydal that's commercially dyed by World of War, I think it is. Yeah, World of War. And 54 grams, 209 meters four ply fingering weight nice it's a two ply yarn but in the uk it's four ply weight but oh that's come out lovely so it's quite fun so i don't know what i'll do with it but i've had a fun time working with the neons and seeing i think this is my least favorite oh, the really? black with the i think the one i showed last week with the cream oh yeah that was was yeah. the best but yeah oh it's still nice still fun and i could probably get a um hat yeah out of that that's probably what i'll do with it or i might use it for color work yeah we'll see brilliant oh so, yeah i love that all right what have we got now whips yep should we take a little break let the dogs yeah okay <laughs> right we're back we're gonna re-record as well yeah lots of <laughs> yeah puppy noises we are yeah, they're asleep now. So fingers crossed, that's it. Yeah. Right, whips. So, I've got to remember now what I... <laughs> this is uh, my bag from Lollipop Designs. Love that. I do. I don't care if it's not autumn. It's beautiful. Yeah. So nice. I love pumpkins and mushrooms and... Definitely. So, this is... A little baby cardigan that I am knitting out of drops baby merino mix. So we, I think it's 100% wool, isn't it? Yeah, merino. Yeah. And that is the beginner cardigan by Benja Kirk. I'll um, put their Instagram in the description box below. Did you get the pattern off Ravelry? Yes, yeah. it's a paid for pattern as well. But yeah, just a simple, super cute, simple beginner cardigan. So hard to show. There we go. In a nice grey. But yeah, I'm loving this. So now I've, I've split the sleeves, so I'm just back, forth, back, forth, and remembering to put the buttonholes in. But um, they love everything elephant, so I'm going to look for some elephant buttons. Oh, nice. To go with it. So yeah. Could embroider. Yeah. And don't even do a little um yeah. duplicate stitch. Good. 
For, for your grandson? Yeah, for my grandson. 13 weeks to go. Not long. No. So I really do need to get knitting, crocheting. Yeah. Because the blanket, I've literally not done much. Yeah, time, tick, tick. It, I know. So sweet. But yeah. So sweet. I did keep looking at it thinking, is it too small? But no, you I forget don't think how so. small babies are, don't you? Looks fine. But yeah, I did, I just wanted a simple, simple knit. Yeah. What size? Uh, not to three. Yeah, not to three. So. So, so cute. Yeah, it's sweet. It's so cute. It's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually watching um, oh, what's her name? Becky Dixon. So it's Claire from Bird Street's sister. Oh yeah. And she's having a baby. And I've been watching her podcast and she's um she's got so many baby knits, so I'm gonna go back and watch through them and see what she's yeah. been knitting to help me decide because it's so hard to yeah. know it's... what to knit or there's so many things out there that it's easier if you see someone knitting it and same as um uh we share needles yeah um Krista, Kristen is it I think so yeah, she's pregnant and she's just made a lovely uh, little like onesie. Oh, they're so okay. cute. Oh, that's so cute. There's little trousers as well. Yeah, little... yeah so cute. Um, do you so, want me yeah, to just go carry through my on whips? Okay, so I've got... This bag was made by me ages ago. Robin Robins. bag. So these are the ravishing socks. Oh. By Nancy Wheeler. Let me hide them a bit. Yeah, by Nancy Wheeler. So nice. So it's got like a twisted rib, and then it goes into um, like into the lace lace work, and it goes in nicely. Twisted see, rib twisted and rib. lace. Yeah. That's lovely. So that is yeah. So it's like a blossom motif. But that is so enjoyable. I see. Such an easy... Oh, so and then fun. it's got that on the back as well, look. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So these are socks? Yeah. And they're... Yeah, so that's Nancy Wheeler. So she is Knit Stip Happy, is it? Podcast. Yes. And she's yes. just got her pattern in the... So the next book of 52 Weeks of Socks. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, That's brilliant. so proud of her. Bless her. Oh, and they're gorgeous. Yeah, so nice. She's got some lovely sock pans. Oh, and obviously I love the colour. <laughs> yeah. So that is... These are just uh, West Yorkshire Spinners. And it is in the colour cardamom. So nice. That's gorgeous. I might have to get some Goes of that. your hat. Yeah. It actually does match. <laughs> I might have to get some of that. Yeah, yeah it's so nice. Lovely. But yeah, I wanted to do it just in a plain because I think then the pattern, I look, prefer um, pattern socks in like a plain yarn. Yeah, it really pops that way. Yeah. It shows up there. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah, so congratulations, Nancy. That's amazing. It is. What an achievement to get it in that. And it's not out yet. It's um, You can pre order the book 52 weeks. Sure, there's loads of people that... Yeah, I've got the 52 week socks and shawls right. as well. Yeah, it yeah. comes out on the 31st of March, the Exciting. next one. So, yeah, very nice. So I'm enjoying doing those. Another pair of socks on the needles. I, I need to cast on a pair of socks. Yeah, I really what? want yeah. to make another pair of socks. It's because I've got so many that yeah. I'm like, do I really need any more? Yeah. But it's not about that, is it? It's about no. enjoying knitting and, exactly. and doing it anyway. I actually love knitting socks. So, I've got one more whip. Yeah? Yeah. I'm I feel like I'm just rushing through this now because they're asleep. they're asleep and I'm just like, right. <laughs> right, so, my son's girlfriend, I think I showed it on the last podcast actually, wanted me to do, make her a Aragon, I can't even say it. Amigurumi. Am Amigurumi, that's it. Uh <laughs> cow and then i it was i've chose a different one to do than what i put up on the last podcast so 
cute. Um, so this is Caroline the Cow, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry by uh, Jess Huff. Yeah, Jess Huff. And she's got loads of patterns like horse and, and you said unicorn. Free. free. Which is so lovely. Yeah, so nice. Um, so yeah. But yeah, my son said, said, that don't look like a cow. No, it does. It does look like a cow. And I've never done these twist like the ears. Oh, that's perfect though. Yeah. With the pink on the inside. Yeah. So it's a, it's going to have spots. Yes. Yeah. I'll put a picture actually of what it looks like finished. Yeah. Whether mine will look the same <laughs> as that. Because sometimes mine don't look exactly the same. Has it got an udder? As well? No. No udder? No udder. No. There, I have seen a load of patterns with the udders. I could add another. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I probably won't. It's also got horns. And I've made the horns, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to... I probably can't find them in this bag. But yeah, I don't don't know whether I'm going to put them on. I'll have, a look, I'll have a play about, because I haven't looked. I haven't actually finished them. They're just Got pinned on, so you could see. But yeah, I think it's going to look cute. But I haven't That's done true. this for ages. Yeah, making and toys, it is yeah, fun. Yeah, I used to love, I've made so many. I've made a, remember we've done that stand and I made yeah. like three or four unicorns like yeah. this. I don't think it was her that, might have even been her pattern, you know. Yeah. I'll have to have a look. But everything will be linked below anyway. But yeah, so, so I'm sweet. having so much fun making these. And her pattern, so when you go on it, they've got she's got videos for everything. Like even the ears, you could follow along oh, wow. to how to do them all together and everything. The big uh, to sew on the arms because I always struggle sewing on arms and legs. Yeah, and that puts people off. Yeah, yeah, and that that is the worst bit about it. I love making every all the bits and then I'm like, oh, now I've got to try and... Put them all together. But yeah, she's got videos on how to do each section. That's so, amazing. Yeah, brilliant. So kind. That's my Bird Street. Bird Street. Bird Street bag. Bird Street, Bird Street yarn bag. Yeah, fits it nicely. So yeah, hopefully I'll get that finished because not long. All right, so that's the whips. That's all my whips. So obviously in the UK, um, Mother's Day is coming up soon so I wanted to show something that I'd made for my mum before not this year it's not for this year but I've made it for her before I'm not sure if it was Mother's Day or her birthday but this is Sandy I'll let you That's brilliant. hold her she's knitted um, and I used the Arnie and Carlos knitted dolls book and so it's all done in the round um, really clear instructions that talks you through um, how to do everything. The only thing I changed from the pattern is I use safety eyes. Yeah. Instead of the way they chose to do eyes. I'll show you some of their dolls here. So they've sort of done these knitted eyes that you make the gaps for and then put them in. Right. Um, and I She's like beautiful. Safety I don't think eyes. I've seen her before. Sits at um, Mum's on the rocking chair oh. there. Oh. So, but it's got loads of um, clothes in here as well. So the whole um, wardrobe. Oh, wow. Let me see. So you can make different clothes for her. Yeah, let me try and cover up. But, you know. Oh, nice. And so what oh, I did I like is that. I used the pattern for the dress in there and used Jameson's and Smith and just put some colour work into it. And I had these tiny little buttons. That is so cute. I did crochet for the headband, so I just made that up. Yeah. Um, her body and hair is in Stylecraft DK. Got little plaits. Yeah, did some plaits. I was gonna plait all her hair, and then I thought no, that would take me forever. <laughs> so she got three plaits at the front. Oh, I love that. And yeah, I've never knit a toy or a doll. It's it's fun. It is fun. I'm not as quick it. as no. crochet, but I loved um, oh, I making love that. Her. My plan was to make her, because there's a, a long cardigan as well, <clears throat> excuse me. So my plan was sort of every year to make more clothes for her and a sort of bag for them to go in, but she's got, oh. yeah, that's sort of knitted. So yeah. I knit this in, it's all in one piece. Obviously you have to stop the leg and then attach, but it starts at the feet. And then, yeah, 
That's so that's brilliant. sandy. That's really nice. But before I made this one, I made one for my um, daughter. So I'll show you that one as well. She, uh, so this is the one. Oh. And I used safety eyes for this, but I actually had felt at the back. And my daughter didn't name this one. But it was so fun that in the tiny jumpers. I think that's it. I really wanted to make the tiny clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so I made the dolls. I've still got yeah. to make one for myself, really. That is so cute. And I gave her a little um, nose ring as well. Oh, wow. So. Oh, I love her. They're oh, really I fun. I want to make one. Look at the little tights. Yeah, I had to do the stripy tights. But How so, fun to make all the cl like clothes as yeah, well. Yeah, and colour work. You know, so you can do the colour work. There's colour yeah. work jumpers and everything in the pattern. Let me see. I love Arnie and Carlos. Let me see if I can... I'll let you flick through that and see if you can find it. It's more at the back, look the colour work. Look at the colour work. But I popped into the library. Oh, look at the skull. Yeah. Amanda I, would like that one. Yeah. From Mouse's Makes. <laughs> I popped into the library the other day and I got out this book. So this is Arnie and Carlos's Greatest Knits. And in here, it has the doll pattern. Oh, wow. So it has the doll pattern in here. Um, teddy oh, bear. Teddy. Um, what else? Let's see, look, there's the, there's the knitted doll in there. And... Oh, look at that stuff there. sorry. So cute. Yeah, the colour work. So you can do all the things. But in, in this book, The Greatest Knits book, it also has... I've got to try and not show the patterns. Did um, I just show you the patterns? That's all right. Um, It has these Easter eggs. The knitted Easter eggs in there. Um, The Christmas balls. Uh, oh, how fun oh. is that? And it has the clothes from the wardrobe for the dolls in there. What else? Let me show the knitted. Oh, it has a dog jumper. Oh, so, oh no, I'm going to make. <laughs> yeah, dog jumpers. That's their little poodle. Oh, that's so cute. Um, So it says on the back that this book is 19.99. I borrowed it from the library, but I've already gone online and found it secondhand for £5. So I've already what? ordered it for myself. But if you wanted to make the dolls, I mean, this one, I think, is £15. Yes. That's, but that's you could so get good. this book instead. And then you've got the dolls, the Christmas balls, the teddy. Oh, this, it's on the back. Birds. Um, the Christmas balls, little mouse. Um, a sweater. Socks. So it's, That's amazing. It's probably better getting this book rather than that book. Yeah. And then you've got loads of stuff. So there's little Easter eggs in here. And I might. Yeah, there you can see them on the back. Um, Has it got the clothes in there as well? Yeah, it's got the pattern for some clothes. That's amazing. The little Easter eggs, so I might make some of those. Yeah, they're fun. As well. Because I've made some of the knitted balls before, and they're small projects, which I've been really yeah. craving at the moment. So, yeah, I thought I would show those. I love all their colour work stuff, though. It's, it's so amazing. fun. But yeah, on a tiny Brilliant. jumper, then you can get that colour work fix. Yeah. I might have to make one of these. Oh, there's loads. Yeah, show. Actually, that's what you should have done. Yeah, show the all the different dolls. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So fun. Yeah. I loved. I loved making those. But I thought I'd also show um, some of these little things. Sorry about the crinkling. But I suppose after the dogs. Yapping, crinkling is nothing, is it? nothing, no. Some of these little things that I made. So these were without patterns. So <laughs> you're just too clever. I thought this. Some of them are knitted and some of them are crochet. Here you go. Here's a crochet one. And basically, I think I went from about eight stitches to forty with a two millimeter hook increasing sort of here, and then it's at forty stitches around. This one's knitted. This one's crochet. But I just wanted to do little colour work and I thought of them as little um, larvae, oh, um, so monsters, cute. and they made me so happy. And each of them took about two hours to make. But again, I just want to make some of these. I, I haven't got patterns You're just for so them. clever. Thank you. I absolutely love him looking just... with his little sad face. Yeah, he's just sad. <laughs> just a sad one. But I just made them up as I went along. 
uh, you know, I wanted to just play with colour. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, I don't want to wear this. Yeah. Or these, but I still want to knit with it. You know what I'm like yeah. with rainbows. Yeah. So there's those. and I've got They're some, amazing. I've got some more here, so I shall show them. I've got some pictures of them. You really must get your patterns written out. On my Instagram. The thing is... He's my favourite. <laughs> it's quite stressful. <laughs> it's quite stressful. Here's some more. It's quite stressful for me to write things. And sometimes yeah. I just want to pick up a hook or knitting needles and just go for it. This one's got a little like unicorn horn there. But these were with like Jameson's and Smith and hand spun. That one. This one's kind of like got a squid type oh, thing going on. I just love them. And I've given a couple of these as gifts. I was going to sell these at one point and I, it was actually at the beginning of um, 2020 and I listed them on Etsy and then lockdown happened and I just closed the shop and didn't do anything they're so cute but more more than anything they just make me happy to yeah. make and it, it doesn't need to have a reason why i'm making them they no. take two hours yeah i should just make more because they make me happy yeah i can't even remember how i made the eyes but i'm sure i could work it out the eyes are amazing but 40 stitches around so you increase and get there however you want and then you could just sew eyes on but you get to You're play like so with color work i just wanted to make little color work things you're so, so thank you but well, i thought i'd show those as well but they could be you know things like this could on a mobile yes. you know they are just so cute or as a garland i'm gonna make them into a garland i think and i'm just oh, gonna hang yeah. them in my room and then just look at them and they'll make me happy yeah amazing <laughs> i love that see i can't do i you couldn't can. make up no i couldn't you can. i haven't got it in me just to... 40 stitches the thing about monsters, and this is why I always make monsters rather than animals, is because they can look however you want. Yeah. Okay. Nobody knows what they're supposed to look like. Yeah. If you tried to, if I tried to make a cow, it probably wouldn't look like a cow. Yeah. They're fun. But I can't go wrong with you. Can't go wrong with monsters. No. So should we do the giveaway? Yes. Let's do the giveaway. So if you take those, I'm gonna take these. Oh, I forgot. Well, I forgot to say last time who these were by. I purchased these on Etsy by Coastal Creative Links, it says. But Coastal Creative, so it's Superwash Merino, 75% wool, 25% nylon, 10, 10 gram minis. And they had loads of different sets in there. So if you haven't won, do go and check out yeah. the shop. But there's one lucky winner. Yes. Well, I've also got a stitch marker from Coral Rose Fibre Arts. And some tags from uh, Crafty Clegs, and they're just like wooden uh, tags that you can t put onto your project bags, and they say socks, sweaters, cardigan, which are, which is quite nice because sometimes you do, it. don't yeah. you? You're hunting for your bag, going, which, which one did it? it? Yeah. yeah. So. So well made. Lovely. So the winner is Suzanne Carney. We'll put it here. So congratulations, Suzanne. If you contact us through email, our link is for our emails in the description box and let us know your address and we yep. can get those out to you. Yeah. Just wanted to quickly say, because there's been some things going around on YouTube where people have been trying to scam people by saying they've won a prize. We will only announce if you've won a prize on here Yeah. and you contact us and we'll only ask for your address so we yeah. can send it to you, never any payment. Or anything like that so yeah if you get a message and it looks like it's from us asking for money or anything it's not us right okay and if i'm not sure where suzanne is so i'm not sure about how long the, it will take yeah and the royal mail at the minute because we've had that hack is not there there's been a hack up with the royal mail and the post office oh the postal strike so sending it abroad if there's a problem we'll let you know but yeah it might just take longer than yeah. it normally would but yeah. we'll let you know once we've but tried yeah, to like post I said, it, if I you're, don't know where. yeah, if I don't know where people, it's sometimes people saying actually, it's nice to see where people are from, yeah, because all, yeah. all around the world and yeah, yeah, like Australia and things and uh, yeah, yeah, Hawaii. Really? I'm sure somebody somebody yes. said Hawaii, and I was like, wow, that would be amazing. Some, oh, so nice to think yeah. that someone knows you or watches yeah. you from. But just yeah, to live somewhere like that in Texas. 
Yes. I always think, oh, I see like all the sort of food that comes out that's from Texas, like barbecue and stuff. I'm yeah. like, nice. that would be amazing, like Texas barbecue. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, one day, one day. Yeah, maybe. Be nice. Right, what are we going to do now? I think we've got some questions. So if you've stayed with us this long, thank you. Oh no, should I do my acquisitions? Now? Oh yeah, acquisitions. Got Hang so on. Much. My stomach's going now. And I've got a hair in my mouth <laughs> thank you for everyone leaving comments it was so nice reading through everybody's yeah, yeah so nice Thanks. we had so many didn't we yeah i think we are going to have to start making um podcasts sooner closer together yeah because we have so much to talk about that they're, they're, they're going getting longer and longer long. so let us know how you feel about the length of the yeah podcast as well because yeah. it was quite long last time and we don't know or how you long. just have to watch halfway through stop and then come a couple back. of days later come back and yeah but yeah, it, it it does. We do need to, but it's getting everything, getting everything and organized. having the time, isn't it? I think where it's both of us, if it was just one, you could be like, oh, I've got an hour now. I'll record. Yeah. Whereas we've got to arrange it with each other. Yeah. So right. my local um, yarn shop were doing a style craft cow mm -hmm. um, make along thing, and they put it up on their Facebook page and they showed a scarf. And I, I thought to myself, I, I won't be doing the knit along. Yeah. But I loved the look of the scarf. So I went down there. The tilted towards you, I think. Yeah, that way. So this is Recreate It's Knitting Stylecraft. Oh, that's nice. And I, because I'd done the cables. Yeah. And I thought that will be, it'll be an easy, an easy knit. Yeah, relaxing. Just a relaxing, long cable scarf. I don't think it's... I know it's shown on a man, but I'd probably still wear that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not really gendered. But I liked... <gasps> yeah. They had it on offer as well because of the knit along. The wool was on offer. Gorgeous. It's like tweedy. Chunky. So, again, quick. Nice. I've been dying to start this. So it's a 100% recycled wool. Oh, lovely. And there's a free pattern on the res reverse. Yeah, free pattern on the inside as Ooh. well. So yeah, but look, it's got loads of um, little nips, different colours. That's gorgeous. So nice. I've, I've got a thing about this green. Yeah, I mean, it's my favourite. It's my favourite. My favourite too. Yeah, my favourite. <laughs> I love all the colours. They're oh, all yeah. my favourite. But yeah, I think it takes four, she said. So But it's also got the the hat pattern in that as well. Because there's a hat as well. So I'm gonna do the scarf. But I thought That would be lovely, yeah. yeah. Nice relaxing knit on a chunky Yeah, I've been craving some chunky yarn. Yeah. So yeah, I went down and nabbed that quickly. <laughs> That'll be fun. So I've got to have that. So that's a future cast on, or have you already cast it on? No, not cast it on yet. Oh, there's another hat there as well. I haven't really looked into this. I'm just looking at those four designs. That's why. I've just looked at the scarf. Oh wow. Okay. A cow. Oh, and a cow. Two hats and a scarf. That was good. I'm so excited. I need to go down and get some more of the yarn now. Yeah. So. That will be a future cast on. So, what else have I got? We went to one, no, I went to one rebel. Yes. Without Kirsten. Without me. It wasn't mm. the same. And I said to Claire from Bird Street. It wasn't the same without me. My husband come with me. Because I was like, oh, I don't want to walk around on my own. No. I've only ever done it with you. Yeah. I thought, I can't walk around on my own. Um, so he said, he came out of work. Oh. And said, I'll, I'll come with you. And we were a bit late. But when we got inside, honestly, it was so rammed. Rampacked. Yeah. You couldn't, I couldn't get into any of the, like, because there were so many, because it was their 15th anniversary. There were so many uh, new dyers that yeah. I've never seen before. Um, Katie Green was there. Yeah. And I just couldn't get into it. And it was that packed. I've never seen it like that, no. ever. I just couldn't get into any stalls. And luckily, before I went, 
I um, wrote down a few things that I wanted, that I knew that I wanted, and that's all I done. I literally went to the stalls that I wanted the yarn from. Yeah. I didn't get to see the others. No. And busy, I had tickets busy. for the sat I had tickets for the Saturday as well. Yeah. And I thought, right, I'll go on the Saturday. And they just put me off. It, yeah. I just thought I can't I can't do it. Too much. So I mean there's gonna be plenty more yarn shows. Yeah. yeah, it was sad not being able to go. I was like, why? Why am I this ill? I think that's the other thing. Now, yeah. It Nathan makes... didn't want to sit down in it. Like I Yeah, we would have taken We would have taken a break. We would have had a cup of tea. Cake. Cake. And sat and knit and chilled and then carried on. Whereas I, w I didn't have that. Yeah. Because it probably did calm down. Yeah. It was at that point. It just happened to be It the same just happened time. to be that time that it was... Really busy. But we'll go to another one. Oh, yeah. Southern Wall Show, I think, is... I really want to go to the East Anglin. And I keep saying to Nathan... I was getting there. How, when's that? That is Mother's Day. That weekend. How is it? There's so many people. Is that not this weekend, next weekend? I think it, I can't remember when Mother's Day is now, but I don't think I'm going to make it no. this time. Because so I was saying to Nathan, we could all go, me, you, John. Yeah. We could stay down there. <laughs> you and John can do whatever you like. And then we've got an evening and then we go up the next day and we can go to, to go again. Young. But we'll see, we'll see. So, obviously the first store I went to was Bird Street. I'd seen that on Instagram. Oh, every time I saw it, I was like, oh, I really want this. So this is Out With A Bang. And it's so on their pretty. zebra. Look at those pops of neon. And so I saw fun. that they had knit up some socks. So it's definitely going to be socks. Yeah. Um, And they look amazing. So I knew straight away, that's what I want. So yeah, that's just a 20... 20 nylon, 80 superwash merino. Perfect. But it's beautiful. I love that. Yeah. I'm Rainbow really... Rainbow speckles. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So nice. Um, and then I went to see Ted at Ted Knits. Love Ted. And again, I saw that he put this on um, Instagram. So I wrote that down in my notes that I would like to get that one. So it's so the nice. colourway truffle. And he's so lovely, isn't he? Ted? Yeah, I love yeah, him. He's, really nice. he's so nice. And he he uh, recognised Nathan. He's <laughs> like, oh, you bought your camera, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless him. But yeah, that's but actually like I said, I couldn't really talk. I'd like to have stood there and had a good old chat. Yeah. I just couldn't. Oh, I love the twist as well. Yeah. It's so nice. But yeah. Um, and then. I went to Botanical Yarn um, and I was speaking to Rachel yep. from Twin Set and Pearl and I was telling them that I want to, that I've just bought the Funfetti by Max the Knitter. Yeah, Max the Knitter, Max Sincere, his new shawl and Natasha. it's so fun and I thought to myself I really want a neon, neon pops yeah. with a grey maybe. Um, and yeah, so they showed me, Rachel was like, oh, I know it's Sophie, it's Sophie, isn't it, who's botanical knitter, but Rachel was helping out on the stall, and she said, oh, go and have a look down there, there's some neons. So fun. So yeah, I can't wait to cast that on, I, did, I need to get, um, a grey, I think I'm going to do grey. looks like such a fun pattern. But yeah, it does. Um... And then I went to, of course I went to Dragon Hill Studio, and that's Sharon from Dragon Hill Studio. Uh, and this is the Unravel 15 colourway. Oh, lovely. So the pinks, I think it's... It's like self-striping as well. Yeah, yeah. self-striping. I love their... So I, ha I had written Oh, they that do amazing well. self-striping. Yeah. And Nathan was like, do you actually use that? In front of them. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I do. You've seen I've made socks and things. You obviously don't watch the podcast. He said, yeah, but I've seen a lot that are just sat there. I'm like, no. Stash, it's two different hobbies. Yeah. And this was the Unravel 15 colourway. So I, I had to get it. Yeah, had to. Yeah. But I, I like those colours, the greys and the pinks and the creams. 
They're going to be lovely. Socks? Probably, yeah. yeah. Of course. And then I went back quickly to Bird Street and I got their You Do Something To Me. Oh, that's fine. And again, I was just, because their stool was quite empty at that point, I thought, right, well, I can have a good look. And I said, and I had, um, what colour was it? I can't remember now what colour way it was. Pebbles on the beach in my hand. I sat around to open and I was like, have I got this one? And he said, probably. And Claire oh. had him. <laughs> she was like, do you want me to take a seat? <laughs> so it was a dad's seat. Well, it was John's seat. He'd gone off. Do you want me to take a seat over there? Because he was like, probably. <laughs> and then she went, do you want me to have a look on your, um, like, go on the order. Yeah. <laughs> and see if you've had it. And I was like, no. And then I knew that I liked this one as well. And I knew I hadn't had this one. So I got this one. It's like denim with rainbow yeah. speckles. Yeah, so I've, I did go quite uh, neon y, rainbow y this oh, time. Well, it, it, you have to. Yeah. At the yarn shows, they call to you the rainbows. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't. I don't want to say I didn't enjoy myself, because I did, obviously. And yeah. it was nice to see Claire and John and Ted and the rest of them, but it wasn't how I. Yeah. wanted it to be and how it normally is yeah you know you can stand there and chat and i don't know i just wanted to be able to go on the i couldn't even get onto siobhan's crafts i couldn't you no couldn't get into couldn't get into it because it was just too busy yeah and i saw vincent he was there with Wal walcott wall i can't think what it's called now their brand max Wal wasn't there this time but yeah, couldn't get in again. Couldn't get in to oh. any of it. So lots of fun things, though. Yeah. Yes. So I think that is it for my acquisitions, which is quite good. Yes. I haven't bought anything for a while. Even though I said, um, oh, oh, I'm working for some stash this year. Wow. Well, but you can't when you go to all can, We can't though. No. It's the rules. You yeah. have to buy. A, you have to buy yarn. You do. It's, it's, yeah, it yeah. has to be done. Right. So we have, we put on Instagram, Matt, didn't we? Yeah, the questions. Question and answers. Uh, Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we haven't given you any answers no. yet. That's what's coming up. Yeah. If you're still here. Yeah. So we've done that on Instagram and uh, YouTube. And we've got quite a few good questions here. So, I think this one's for you anyway. How long did it take to learn to spin your own yarn? And do you use an e-spinner? So, spinning yarn, I don't, I can't actually remember how long it took. Not long, really. You know, after a few hours, you can spin yarn. Yeah. It's whether it's yarn that you're happy with. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's really quick to learn for spin. Loads of tutorials on YouTube for drop spindles. So I learned on a drop spindle, um, the park and draft method. And when I first spun yarn, I used it for a little amigurumis. So gauge didn't matter. So if it was thick or thin, yeah, it didn't really matter. So I would say use your hand spun and just enjoy the texture of it. And then the more you spin, the more you practice, the more consistent your spin can get. Right. But that special first hand spun yarn is hard to recreate right. afterwards. So yeah. it's really textured, you know, thick and thin, but so fun. Even just putting a stripe of it into hats. But yeah, use it. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long to spin at all. I do have an e-spinner and I use it to spin now as well. But that's only if like I'm in pain. I've, my back's hurting and I can't sit at the wheel or stand up and use a drop spindle. But I mainly use the e-spinner for plying because it just goes quicker. Right. Yeah. And I don't really like plying. I like to get it done quick. Yeah. So. Brilliant. Uh, how did you two meet? Well, we're sister-in-laws. Yeah. So I think we, well, I've been with Nathan for 22 years, so. Yeah, so 22 years ago. Yeah. We met. Yeah. So Nathan's my brother. Yeah. My big brother. Yeah. So and that's how yeah. We, that's how we met. I can't remember, because you would have still been in school. Probably. 22 or years ago. Or would you have just left school? 
I can't remember. I have no clue. I, I can't remember our ago. first meeting anyway. I would have been around school age, yeah. 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 So I was probably just... <laughs> <laughs> at that age. Yeah, yeah, at that age, yeah, yes. Yeah. Teenager. Yeah, I can't, I can't really remember it. I'm terrible. No, I can't remember our sort of first... No. First meeting, but that's how we... Yeah, that's how we're... That's how we know each other. Yeah. So... Uh, what's your first knit or crochet thing and your age at that you started? So my first knit was a sock. Really? Yeah, that's the first thing I ever knit. What so is socks? I crocheted first. Uh, I started crochet when I was 20, uh, no, 37. So in 2016. I'm giving yeah. away my age now. <laughs> Don't do the math. Uh, yeah, so 2016, that's when I started crochet. Um, and I made a teddy. And I'm a groomy teddy. And it literally had whole big holes in it, the stuffing yeah. coming through. I'll put a picture in, actually, of it. Because <laughs> I have still I have still got it somewhere. Um, got to go down hook sizes to make sure the holes aren't there. Oh, it, going down. It was awful. It was, it was awful. Um, so yeah, I was 37. And then two years later when I was 39, that's when I decided to knit. Um, so in 2018. And my first thing was a sock. And I'll put that in there as well. And that had mistakes in, but I was so chuffed. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. That I could... You really wanted the socks and that's what I spurred really, you into yeah, knitting. That's what made me want to knit. Seeing your socks... And I still can't believe I didn't make you some, but I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, because I probably wouldn't own. have. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what about you? I learned the basic of knitting when I was a kid, and I didn't make anything really. I just knit swatches, and then when my eldest, shortly before, so maybe 15 years ago, I got some magazines, and you know they'd had the crochet squares, the different yeah. style Afghan squares, and so I crocheted those. And then knitting came around about the same time, maybe a year later. And I just, um, again, knit a lot of squares, a lot of swatches. Where mm. I just go through stitch dictionaries and go, oh, I'm going to try that technique. See, that's a good idea, though. That's... And then I just had loads of squares. Yeah. And I think that's probably why you are so good at, because you've done that. I wanted to just play with yeah. the things. Yeah, I, I didn't... You're not afraid now to play with things. No, I didn't have the patience either to sort of make a big colour yeah. work thing, whereas I thought I want to try colour work. And then straight away I started drawing my own charts because I was like, well, I want to... Yeah. I want to just see what can be done Yeah. with that technique. So... Um, <clears throat> the next one... <laughs> oh, yeah. So the next one, it says, who is your favourite daughter? <laughs> <laughs> that was on Instagram. So that was your, Shannon. Your that eldest. was my eldest daughter. Who is your favourite daughter? So who is your favourite daughter? Um, <laughs> I haven't got one. They're Can't both favourite. No, I haven't got a favourite. As much as she would love to think that she is the favourite. <laughs> no, Shannon. I love that. I saw that she posted that and I just laughed it out loud. Yeah, she brilliant. does crack me out. I, I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I know who that is. And... Did you, did you see on her Instagram the other day? So I'd, I've done the, we said about under the stairs, yes. the dog. Um, I've just changed a bit under the stairs so that it's for the dogs. Yeah. And I've put, I used my Cricut and I put their names and I've put some pictures of the dog. Well, I've had to take, I had a big frame and it had all the kids' photos in it. Oh, and no. I took it down. <laughs> and her Instagram story was when your mum... Um, replaces you with her new favourites <laughs> <laughs> and it had the pictures of the dogs and the picture of the frame on the floor Love it. of them she's terrible Fun. but yeah that was funny uh how much does it cost to start spinning as a beginner so i with my drop spindles i still use the student ones that you can pick up for five to 15 pounds and you can get them in kits where they come with fiber so look on um itsy uh ebay any shops you know of that has have fiber a student grade drop spindle and some fiber you can probably find for 15 pounds wow so it's really um affordable you can even make your own but i 
recommend I tried making my own it's not like you you can't make your own but if you're having trouble learning to spin on your own spindle that you've handmade it might be because it's not balanced right but I've seen cheap student grade ones for five pound spindles wow. and like I said I have no problem I still use those if yeah. I was to buy a more fancy one, it would be because it was made out of a different wood yeah. or it had some engraving or something in it. So they do the same thing, it's yeah. just the look. Yeah, so it's really affordable to get into it. I recommend everybody give it a go. It's it's not a big investment to try. No. Yeah. That's really good. Um, What's your favourite knitting technique? So mine, I would say cables now. Yeah. Because I really enjoyed doing that so that's fine yeah, cables is that is the knitting technique yeah knitting cables technique. yeah yeah that's my oh good yeah oh, i'm excited i to want see to do all more the new well i've just things. i've just um bought the eclair jumper cables those. by laura penrose brilliant so i will at one point watch this face yeah. for all the cables i love cables yeah but i don't enjoy knitting cables because i can't see them yeah so mine stranded color work yeah because i can see it and i can read my knitting and it's i do it two handed yeah and it's just stopping it yeah but you can put so much into it yeah yeah and i i love i can't do it two-handed i, love I literally color work. have to drop and pick up drop and yeah pick up. so, so it's a lot of it is a lot but i do i do like i do like doing stranded color work but no cables i i absolutely love watching it yeah appear oh the texture it's, yeah. it's amazing it reminds me of um stone masonry yeah you know cut stone stone carving so yeah. yeah and obviously not forgetting just garter yeah that's nice yeah. as well just knitting or stocking it in the round yeah or just nice. garter relaxing yeah. um is there any te techniques you are nervous to try yes brioche mm. I've never tried it and it puts me off if I see it in a pattern. Yeah. I haven't. I I have knit brioche. It makes me nervous doing knitting brioche. As far as a technique that I'm nervous to try, there isn't anything I'm nervous to try. There's things that my brain can't work out and that's the double-sided knitting. Yeah. Right. So the colour work on both sides where you knit and you purl and I want to be able to do that. But focusing and not making mistakes yeah it's yeah i find it really difficult but i'd love to do do that but i'll try anything yeah knitting wise yeah oh, like i said I'll i do i need to do a swatch in brioche and yeah. then maybe i'll think differently to when i see a pattern with it yeah because i have I, if i see that it's got brioche in it but some it. of the stephen west shawls yeah i won't do it because lifelines lifelines but yeah, yeah. it's never wracking still yeah um how you first got into spinning what wheel do you have so how did i first get into spinning i suppose because um i at the time i wanted more luxury yarns and i couldn't afford to buy luxury yarns or the more expensive yarns they're 100 percent wool so i got a spindle and did it that way and then i bought spinning wheels and actually yeah. <laughs> ended up costing more money in the long run but um yeah it was for that reason i wanted the yarn that i wouldn't be able to afford otherwise um and i've got a kiwi ashford kiwi i have got an ashford traditional but i might sell that because i haven't got on with it it's at my mum's at the moment um and i have an e-spinner so when you put all that price together i could have bought lots of luxury yarn yeah but now i can produce my own so yeah that's it all worth it yeah uh puppy updates well as you can as, as you all know from this video they i don't know they are they're good they're boys good boys they're sleeping just here now yeah and they are they are good boys they're very spoiled very spoiled little they're very little spoiled boys. little boys and so they weren't used to being shut out i think that's no. why they were crying see they bit. are crate trained and last video straight in there mm. But because I've been around a lot more, they've not needed to go in there. They, I mean, of an evening, uh, at night, they go in straight in there to bed. Yeah. But they've not needed to. So they're, and they look at them, sprawled out on my sofa. They're adorable. Yeah. But we did have a big scare. Yeah. Um, 
few weeks ago. They would fight, they they play fight in the garden. They run around doing their zoomies and I've got a sofa in my garden, uh, the garden furniture, and they jump up on it and they chase each other around. Well, Ace jumped off and landed funny on his, oh, it was the worst. Do you know what? I've never been, even with the kids coming in with broken bones and heads split open, I don't know what it was about. I suppose because you Cause heard it, the yelp. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. It was, oh, I've never felt anything like that. It was awful. The crying. Um, so, yeah, they took, Nathan took him to, the, him to the vet and they said, we will be very lucky dog parents if it's not a, I can't remember what it was called now. Tendon it, it on his a, knee. So it was a torn. It began with C, didn't it? A crack. I can't remember yeah. um, but they thought that it snapped because he couldn't put any weight on his uh, leg and obviously being a weekend because it had to happen on a weekend so we then had to take him to an emergency vet which wasn't our local vet and was quite far away so it would have only cost us £100 but it cost us £400 because it was an emergency yeah um, yeah he said you'll be very lucky dog parents if by Monday he'll be walking on it well by monday he was running around he was back to normal it. um he still occasionally does a little limp but i'm pretty sure <laughs> it's literally if nathan's it around hadn't, it couldn't have snapped it's not definitely tendon, not a step no though. they said it, it, if it's not it would have just been a like it would have it will heal yeah it will heal and it has healed he can run around it's like a, and he hasn't learned he hasn't learned. We've had to pull. We've got curtains around our gazebo, which the sofa's in. Yeah. We've pulled the curtains all around so he doesn't jump off it. He still he still gets under the curtain, and you can hear him. But he's he's okay. So that was yeah. So that was good. Yeah. But yeah, it they're fine. <laughs> Training's going well. They're they're good. They're good snuggly, little boys. Snuggly little boys. Yeah. I love them to bits. So yeah. Um, what age were you when you first learned how to knit? Learn how to knit. So I was thirty nine. I yeah, I couldn't I couldn't say how old I was. Maybe eight or nine, but I didn't pick it up again. Yeah, until and still me saying thirty nine. I still, I think I went a couple of years of not knit, knitting yeah. at all. It was only recent that I started knitting. Again, yeah, I don't. Th I think I only knit one sock. It wasn't a pair. I I knit one sock and then a shawl, which was just a garter shawl. Linus, the Linus shawl. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. Yeah, and that's. And then I don't think I knit anything for a long time. It was just crochet. Yeah. Yeah, until recently, and then that was it. I was making. To, yeah, making things. Yeah, and Capital I think K. I prefer. I prefer knitting to crochet. That was my question, but crochet is harder on the hands. It goes quicker. Yeah. Um, knitting the movement is just—it's really nice. Yeah. They both have their pros yeah, and cons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where do you podcast from? So from my living room. Yeah, this, this is actually in the back of the yeah, living room. It's a it's a small living room. Um, I don't know where I could. So there's. The sofas are in front of us and then the TV's there. The dogs are laid on the sofa here, L-shaped sofa. But this is a this little is the section, section of the back. Of the back. I might, actually, them. I've got a photo. Yeah. I'll put that in so you can probably be able yeah. to realise what it is. Okay. So, yeah. Um, would, would we ever consider doing a live podcast so we can join in and ask questions and interact with you? Never say never. Nope. But the idea of that scares me. Is not yeah. being able to edit it out. Although I do like... Um, yeah, that scares me. Yeah. That scares me. But I do like joining in when someone's doing a live and you can interact yeah. and talk and then they talk back to you. It's so nice to be able to do that instead of just leaving a comment. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, maybe one day... We would have to work out a time where it's not being distracted. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be fun. But yeah. 
Um, there's a few more. Would like to know about different fibres and how you would go about spinning them. Um, different fibres. I'd like to spin worsted. I'm not very good at woolen spinning. Shorter staple lengths. So the staple length is the length of the fibre if you pull it apart. Shorter staple lengths are better to be spun woolen. I'm in the process of, I have spun things woolen. Yeah. But I'm not very confident in doing it. The longer they are um, worsted is better. But it, it's such a big question to be able to mm. answer. I might come back to that in the future of being able to go into more detail. Yeah. But you can spin any, you can spin any fibre however you want really yeah. there aren't any rules it would just be harder like i've spun really short fibers worsted i just had to draft really carefully and make sure there was a lot of twist going into it right. sort of um cotton oil that way yeah so it it, it it can be done right but yeah it's so many fibers it's like how yeah. do i go about uh, spinning yeah. big question oh although do check out um Oh, I'm gonna to have to. I will link it because I forgot the name, and I will look out after this. It's Gillian Eve, I believe's YouTube channel has so many amazing tutorials. She's uh, sort of sp uh, spinning, right? Mainly, but she does weaving with the hand spun, and has so many amazing not tutorials, but talking you through different fibers and everything. Yeah, she's amazing. I'll link her right. in the description box. Check her out. Okay. Uh, how did you get into knitting? So mine's easy, seeing Kirsty's hand knit socks and things like that. That's and I, you I just the yeah socks. I wanted the socks and you got the socks and I got the socks. So that's how I yeah that's how I got into knitting and crochet. To be fair, yeah, it was crochet. You making monsters and yeah, I was like I want to do that. Yeah, I love making the yeah. monsters. Yeah. Um, with me. Uh, it was trying lots of different crafts. So I did a course in silversmithing. I did a, a pottery course, uh, you know, trying to paint and draw things. And I'd done embroidery where I just, you know, just sit and embroider little things, not necessarily from patterns. And then I tried knitting. I, you know, I got a little kit. I think it was a crochet kit, you know, in a box that has the yarn for some granny squares. Yeah. And... I was like, this is perfect because it's tidy, it's clean. You haven't got to set it up. You can have your bag with you. So it's a craft you can always have with you and you're not making a mess. Yeah. So silversmithing, obviously I had to set up the whole table, saws, blowtorch, yeah. chemicals, pottery. Well, I haven't got access to a kiln or anything like yeah. that and it's messy. Yeah. Same with painting. It's messy. You've got to wash pots and stuff up. Yeah. Because it's like, I can just sit here on the sofa and I can make these amazing things and it's, yeah, no mess. Yeah. So that was why it, you know, at first, and then it's just endless. The yeah. amount of things you can learn, you, you know, you could live to a hundred years old and you still won't know all the things there are yeah. to know. Yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah. I love it. Uh, what's your favourite type of knit? Does that, yeah, hats. Yeah. yeah. I think mine is like cowls or socks. Yeah. Socks mainly, but I do like doing, making cowls. Not really into jump like garment knitting i like garment i want knitting. the garment yeah it's a it's what's that called project project yeah it's more a project when you want the garment yeah, yeah. if you just want to do color work yeah a hat or if you want to do yeah cables yeah cowls and things i think we are more accessories aren't we yeah uh are you a process or a product knitter see i'm a process yeah. i hardly like as you see on my on the podcast, I hardly ever wear my knits. I give them away. Yeah. So I just what I just like if I see something, I knit. I like to knit it, and I'm not too bothered whether I wear it again or give it away. I like to give it away. Yeah, I like to give my knits away. I I do wear them. Yeah, and like I say, if someone knit me <laughs> the garments, I'd be more than happy, and I will wear the ones that I have knit. Yeah, but. I think more, yeah, I'm a process knitter. Yeah. Yeah, the same. Yeah. I'm a process knitter, but I am starting to see, like with my um, champagne cardigan that I made last time, that when it comes to garments, I really like plain things yeah. and then patterned accessories. Yeah. 
but I just love knitting. Yeah. I just love knitting. Yeah. I love making the things, and I have to look like a clown some days. I go out and I'm all in multicolored things. So I think, no, I'm wearing that hat. Yeah. That, I'm wearing that orange hat. I'm wearing that rainbow shawl. <laughs> I've got some yellow trousers. I wear those as well. And yeah. the kids are like, Mum, you look like a no. clown. And I'm like, yep, yeah, no. that's what's yeah. happening. So yeah. I have to change my style in order to fit what I want to knit. Yeah. So I wear it. Yeah. But yeah, just love making the stuff. Process, process. Yeah. That's it. That was fun. That was fun. That I love answering those questions, yeah. actually. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks for your questions. That's great. Don't know. I think no, that's it. That's is everything. It? Thank you for taking the time and spending it with us today. We really appreciate all of you. Yeah. And sorry about the. Uh, the oh, the yelp, yelping yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, you can't hear it too much. Uh, hopefully, it'll be all right. Well, we did re record. Yeah, there's a big, recorded a a section. Bit, so, so if you've missed stuff out or the editing's a bit choppy, yeah. that's why. But everybody take care and yeah. we will see you again soon. Thank you. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.